By the end of this video, you're gonna know about and how to use a very special tool that's gonna to help you identify ancient sites anywhere on the island of Ireland. Just last week in Donabay, County Dublin, not too far from here, a farmer discovered an ancient tunnel on his land called the Souterrain. And in this tunnel, he found an ancient Ohm inscription. Now, I'm not encouraging people to go off and do Indiana Jones style and start looking for hidden caves and souterrains and excavating them. But what I want to show you is just how rich this land is for its heritage. I think it's completely underappreciated. I think that it's disappointing that there's not a will from the government and the people themselves to take more of an interest in this culture, to discover what it really was like. I think that in the land of Ireland, in the soil itself, we have the, the same sort of civilization that we can be proud of in the same way that ancient Greece, ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, we look to these cultures today, we study them, we have many, many books about them. Well, here in this little Atlant this little island in the Atlantic off the western shores of Europe, we find this distinct, unique culture that existed for thousands of years. And it's written all over the landscape to this current day. So it's at maps.archaeology.ie forward slash historic environment. I'm going to put a link to this below. What happens is you open up the map and it just looks like a normal map of Ireland. What happens when you zoom in is that this map is loaded with thousands upon thousands of sacred sites, ancient sites, royal sites, castles, holy wells, standing stones. And you can't really see anything yet. I'm purposely trying to pick an area that looks like there's not much going on. Looks like a rural area of Ireland. Maybe not many people living there. And all of a sudden, when you zoom in close enough, boom, the landscape comes alive and reveals itself as an ancient civilization. What you're looking at here is the ruins of an ancient civilization. There's an enclosure. There's a wrath, a ring forth. What else have we got here? A ritual site, a holy well. Look at this. This is just one area that I picked kind of at random. And um, it says redundant record. But there's just so much stuff here. Another ring fort. Now I'm only clicking the red dots right now. The red dots are the more ancient sites, okay? The blue dots that you'll see here, they're going to be more modern things like architectural interest there's a house from the 1900s and so on so the blue ones are more modern there's another stately home it looks like whereas the red ones the ones that i'm more interested in are actually ancient sites what does this say ring fort at cashel or at cashel should i say another name for castle so let's zoom out of here okay this is just this place in west cork down in the very south so the southern tip of ireland Skibbereen, but let's uh, zoom in a bit more. I want to show you how I use this map myself to find ancient sites very close to my front door. Now, after I found them, I did a bit of research, and it turns out like actually there is a bit of documentation about these sites. However, I was never told about them because they've never been excavated, they're not a tourist attraction, nobody around the area seems to know about them, or I haven't heard anybody talk about them. Only for the fact that I used this map. I was able to go, oh my God, there's something that's really close to my front door. And I could go and actually see what that was. And what you're seeing here in these red dots is a very early settlement. I'm going to zoom in and show you what I'm talking about here. And I'm going to zoom in and show you, and then I'm going to show you one more way to use this map and wrap up the video because it all wants to go on for too long. But as you can see in this little area here, we have this collection of interesting sites. What are they? This one here is a fullocked fia. I believe that's a type of a cooking pit. This one here, passage grave. This one here, another passage grave. And when I say passage grave, I mean megalithic tomb. There's another one. So this whole site here, you're looking at a kind of an ancient graveyard, an ancient settlement. And if we move up along the coast a little bit more, because why not? Let's have a look what else is around. We can see there's another one here, another megalithic passage grave. So just in this area here on the eastern coast, you can see this cluster of passage graves, unexcavated. I've been to the field. It just looks like a little hill in the field. You can't really tell what it is or that's anything interesting. And it's just disappointing that there's no will 
from the government or will from the people who could put pressure on the government to take an interest in, in this sort of thing. So the other thing I wanted to show you then is that you can use the satellite imagery as well. So that's another interesting way to kind of look at the, the land and, you know, things have been identified just from the satellite imagery or from drone footage and things like that. People have identified markings and crop markings and so on, strange markings in the fields. And I'm not suggesting that these are them, but it's another way to just look at the site and to investigate what it actually looks like. Okay, guys, so that is the Historic Environment Viewer, a government tool that's available to everybody. And my challenge to you now is to use it. Check it out, right? Go and look up the map. I hate that they cut out Ulster in this, out Northern Ireland. Um, look at the map and zoom in and like see what's around your place go check it out maybe there's a holy well down the road maybe there's the ruins of an ancient monastery maybe there's a full fear or a ring fork and then what this does well what it does for me and what i hope it does for you is it invites the imagination to go on a little journey into the past it invites us to to reflect on how far we've come and also to to just appreciate that we are the end of a line uh, an ancient line we are the final expression of our ancestors efforts and there's something quite humbling about that so i will do more videos like this in the future i'd like to do a virtual tour of ireland i'll go maybe a little bit deeper into some of these places that are close to where i live and bring you and show you them uh, themselves uh, but that's all for now so until the next video i just want to say thank you so much for all the support I know I've been putting out a lot of videos lately. I've been experimenting. Sorry if that's been a bit spammy. I'm trying to figure it out. I really want to grow the channel and I need your help to do that. I'm such a little niche here that YouTube probably doesn't even know who to show my videos to. So I need you to do that. Please invite your friends. If you're interested in this and you know somebody else who's probably going to be interested in it, please invite them to the channel so I can help help to grow the channel. And thank you for all the support so far. Uh, until next time, Slonga Fall. Gaurav Mahagut.